Linda is interested in purchasing an incubated shaker for her lab, but before she decides what to buy, she must consider a few factors. The number of samples she plans to heat or refrigerate will determine whether she goes with a benchtop unit, a stackable unit, or a top-loading unit. There are also several accessories that she can add on to her universal platform depending on her needs. Flask clamps made from either stainless steel or plastic, funnel clamps, microplate holders, test tube racks, and lab stickers are all available. But Linda is not limited to a universal platform. She could also go with spring wire racks, rubber mats, or a universal attachment. Before settling on an incubated shaker, Linda makes sure to go through a list of specifications. She figures out what type of motion, amplitude size, RPM, accuracy, and shaking table load she requires for her applications. Finally, Linda makes a confirmation checklist. If she chooses a stackable unit, Linda must verify what her stacked unit's RPM usage is. For a benchtop unit, she must verify her lab bench dimensions and load limit, and for a refrigerated unit, she must determine the temperature of her lab room because if the space is too hot, it will cause compressor overload. Linda also acknowledges that for whatever unit she chooses, the lab surface designated to it must be completely level. With these considerations, Linda is now ready to purchase her new incubated shaker. Brought to you by Lab Companion by Geotech.